Hello and welcome to Tech Eureka TV. Today, we are going to take a closer look at the largest space missions in history. Let's start with the Apollo missions, the most well-known and iconic space missions in history. The Apollo missions were a series of space missions launched by the National Aeronautics and Space Administration NASA, from 1961 to 1972 with the aim of exploring the Moon. The program consisted of 17 missions, including manned and unmanned missions, and each mission was designed to further our understanding of the Moon and its environment. The most famous and iconic missions of the program are the six manned missions that successfully landed astronauts on the Moon. The first manned mission of the Apollo program was Apollo 7, launched in 1968. This was followed by several more manned missions, including Apollo 8, which marked the first time humans orbited the Moon, and Apollo 11, which made history by landing the first humans on the Moon. Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin, the astronauts on Apollo 11, became the first humans to walk on the lunar surface. Apart from the manned missions, the Apollo program also included several unmanned missions, such as the Lunar Orbiter program, which sent five spacecraft to orbit the Moon and map its surface, and the Surveyor program, which sent seven spacecraft to soft land on the Moon and study its surface. The program cost an estimated $25.4 billion, equivalent to over $150 billion in today's currency, and resulted in the loss of three astronauts in the Apollo 1 fire in 1967. Despite these challenges, the Apollo program remains one of the most significant achievements in human history, and it continues to inspire scientific research and space exploration today. The Voyager mission is one of NASA's most ambitious and successful interplanetary missions. Launched in 1977, the Voyager mission consisted of two spacecraft, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, which were designed to explore the outer reaches of our solar system. The mission was a remarkable achievement in space exploration, as it provided scientists with the first close-up images and data of Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. The Voyager spacecraft were equipped with a range of scientific instruments, including cameras, spectrometers, magnetometers, and plasma detectors. These instruments allowed scientists to study the planets, their moons, and their surrounding environments in great detail. For example, Voyager 1 discovered the first active volcanoes beyond Earth on Jupiter's moon Io, while Voyager 2 provided detailed images of Saturn's rings and discovered 11 new moons around Uranus. The Voyager mission was also famous for the Golden Record, which was a collection of sounds and images representing Earth that were placed on each spacecraft. The record was intended to communicate the story of Earth to any extraterrestrial life that might come across the spacecraft. Today, both Voyager spacecraft continue to send back data as they journey into interstellar space, far beyond the edges of our solar system. In August 2012, Voyager 1 became the first spacecraft to enter interstellar space, while Voyager 2 followed suit in November 2018. The Hubble Space Telescope is one of the most famous and successful space missions in history. It was launched in 1990 by NASA and has been in operation ever since, making it one of the longest-serving space telescopes. The Hubble telescope is named after the American astronomer Edwin Hubble, who was instrumental in our understanding of the expanding universe. The Hubble telescope is a space-based observatory that orbits Earth at an altitude of around 540 kilometers. It has a mirror diameter of 2.4 meters and is equipped with a suite of scientific instruments, including cameras and spectrographs, that allow it to observe the universe in visible, ultraviolet, and infrared light. The Hubble telescope has revolutionized our understanding of the universe by providing stunning images and data on everything from distant galaxies to the formation of planets. It has been used to study the expansion of the universe, the distribution of dark matter, the life cycles of stars, and the formation of planetary systems. Some of Hubble's most famous images include the Hubble Deep Field, which captured thousands of distant galaxies in a single image, and the Pillars of Creation, which shows a star-forming region in the Eagle Nebula. Despite its successes, the Hubble telescope has not been without its challenges. Shortly after its launch, it was discovered that the telescope's primary mirror had a flaw that affected its image quality. This flaw was corrected in a 1993 Space Shuttle mission, and the telescope has been upgraded and repaired several times since then. The most recent servicing mission was in 2009, which included the installation of new scientific instruments and upgraded hardware. The Cassini-Huygens mission was a groundbreaking endeavor that provided scientists with invaluable insights into the Saturnian system. Launched in 1997, the spacecraft was named after astronomers Giovanni Cassini and Christian Huygens, who made significant contributions to the study of Saturn and its moons in the 17th century. One of the primary objectives of the mission was to study Saturn's rings, which had fascinated astronomers for centuries. 
Cassini's observations revealed that the rings are composed of countless particles of ice and rock, ranging in size from tiny dust particles to boulders several meters in diameter. The spacecraft also discovered several new moons orbiting Saturn, bringing the total number of known moons to 82. Perhaps the most significant part of the Cassini mission was the landing of the Huygens probe on the surface of Titan, Saturn's largest moon. The probe provided the first detailed exploration of Titan, a world with a thick atmosphere that had long intrigued scientists. Huygens found that the moon has a complex weather system, with rainfall, rivers, and lakes of liquid methane and ethane. The probe also discovered a landscape of mountains and valleys, suggesting that Titan has an active geology. In 2017, the spacecraft was intentionally crashed into Saturn's atmosphere to prevent it from contaminating any of the planet's potentially habitable moons. The data collected during the mission will continue to be studied for years to come and will undoubtedly lead to new discoveries and insights into the outer solar system. The Mars rovers have been some of the most successful and long-lasting space missions in history. The Spirit and Opportunity rovers were launched by NASA in 2003 and landed on opposite sides of Mars in January 2004. Their main objective was to search for evidence of past water on the Martian surface and study the geology of the planet. Both rovers greatly exceeded their expected lifetimes of 90 days and continued to operate for several years, with Opportunity finally ceasing communication with Earth in 2018 after a dust storm. During their missions, the Mars rovers made numerous discoveries. Spirit discovered evidence of ancient hot springs on Mars, while Opportunity found strong evidence of past water activity and even discovered rocks that suggest Mars was once habitable. Both rovers also studied the Martian soil and atmosphere, providing valuable data on the planet's climate and geology. In 2012, NASA launched the Mars Science Laboratory mission, which included the largest and most advanced rover ever sent to Mars, Curiosity. Like its predecessors, Curiosity was designed to search for evidence of past microbial life on Mars, but with even greater capabilities than before. Curiosity is equipped with a suite of advanced scientific instruments, including a laser that can vaporize rocks to study their composition. Since landing on Mars in August 2012, Curiosity has made numerous groundbreaking discoveries. It has discovered evidence of an ancient lake bed on Mars, suggesting that the planet may have once had a habitable environment. It has also found organic compounds, the building blocks of life, in the Martian soil. Curiosity continues to explore the surface of Mars today, and its data has provided valuable insights into the planet's geology, climate, and habitability. In addition to the Mars rovers, there have been numerous other missions to explore the Red Planet, including orbiters and landers. The New Horizons mission was a significant achievement in the field of planetary exploration. Prior to the mission, Pluto had only been observed from afar, and very little was known about its surface and composition. The spacecraft traveled for more than nine years before reaching Pluto, covering a distance of over 4.8 billion kilometers. During the flyby, New Horizons captured high-resolution images and collected data on Pluto's atmosphere, geology, and composition. The mission also revealed the existence of previously unknown features on Pluto, such as mountains and glaciers. After the flyby, the spacecraft continued on to study other objects in the Kuiper Belt, including the small icy world of Arakoth. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, is one of the most highly anticipated space missions in recent history. It is a joint project between NASA, the European Space Agency, ESA, and the Canadian Space Agency, CSA. The JWST is a successor to the Hubble Space Telescope, but with several key upgrades that will make it even more powerful. One of the main goals of the JWST is to study the early universe, which will be accomplished by observing some of the first galaxies that formed after the Big Bang. The telescope's infrared capabilities will enable it to see through cosmic dust, providing a clearer view of these distant objects. The JWST will also be capable of studying exoplanets, which are planets outside of our solar system. By observing the light passing through the atmospheres of these planets, scientists can learn about their composition and whether they could potentially support life. The JWST's advanced technology includes a large segmented mirror, which is nearly three times the size of Hubble's mirror, and a sunshield that will protect the telescope from the heat of the sun. The telescope will be positioned at a location called the second Lagrange point, L2, which is located 1.5 million kilometers from Earth, and will operate in the infrared range of the electromagnetic spectrum. Its launch in 2021 is highly anticipated by scientists and space enthusiasts alike. These are just a few of the largest and most important space missions in history. Thank you for watching.